I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a waterfall. And the waterfall that we're going to try and draw is Yosemite Falls. Alright, we're also going to be dealing with uh, foreground, middle ground, and background. Alright, starting over here on the left, I'm just going to draw a wavy line out, down, up, and leave it floating. Right where I stop, I'm going to draw a wavy line out, up, back down, and leave it floating. Right here where I stop, I'm just going to draw a wavy line down. This is the closest tree in what we're drawing. This part of our picture is the foreground. I come all the way down to about this point and I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line across, keep going, to the other side of our paper. Now I come up about here and I put a dot and I'm going to draw a wavy line down, straight line connect, come back up to the top, wavy line out, down, straight line down, connect. This is the mid-ground, the middle ground, okay? Because we're going to be switching around on which parts are going to be foreground, middle ground, and the background. Now, I'm going to continue this line down, connect, and I'm going to draw right here, wavy line up, down, up, in, connect, and now I'm going to do a row of trees. Wavy line up, jump over, wavy line up, jump over, connect wavy line, connect wavy line, littler wavy line up, wavy line up, wavy line up, over, down, up, over. Now, because this is vegetation, it doesn't have to be exact. Come back down to the bottom and you can finish the row. Now you can go curve line, slightly curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, slightly, slightly, curve lines, slightly curve lines to finish off the bottom. Jump over and do this over here, slightly curve line. All right. So this is the foreground. This all of a sudden becomes part of the foreground. But this section is the midground, middle ground. All right. Now I come all the way up here. I put the top on the left. And I draw a slightly wavy line down, out, down, connect. Jump over. Let's start from the bottom and we're going to draw slightly curved line up, over, up, down, connect. Right here, wavy line, connect. Up here on the top, wavy line, connect. And basically what we're doing is we are putting into place all of the things that we are going to color. Okay? Alright, let me make sure I think we're okay and now we're going to see how we are going to color this in. Okay, when you are coloring you always start with the lightest color first. And I'm using gray, but you could use a brown. And all I'm doing is, is putting the first coat of loop-de-loop -loop lines on this space. I bring it all the way down, bring it in between, bring it all the way down, in between all of these spaces. This is the left side. Now I jump over and again I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to fill in loop-de-loop -loop using my loop-de-loop -loop line that gives it a little bit of texture. 
I'm going to fill in the right hand side with gray. Okay? That gives me my first base coat of color. All right? Then, so that I can see what I am doing, I'm going to take a light green and I'm going to put on a base coat. Again, loop de loop it. This is our foreground. This is the part that's the closest to us of the vegetation. And I'm going to put a little bit of this green on all of these spaces so that I can see what I've drawn. Now because this is nature, it doesn't have to be exact. Everybody's is going to look a little bit different because we all draw differently. Okay? But I'm filling in that green so I can see what I drew. Now, this is the base of the water. And I'm just going to put a couple of lines of that light green in my water. This is all going to be double color, triple color. All right, now I can kind of see <clears throat> what is going on with my drawing. Now I come back in with a darker green and I start to fill in with lines the vegetation that I just drew. Okay, you can always add more color, but you can't take it away. So that's why we always work light to dark. Okay, so I'm going to come back in with my darker green and I'm just going to punch up the vegetation that I already drew. Keep it going. This is when you shade in more of your details. You've still got that light green underneath to help. We're still not done. But this helps you look at what you've done. I'm going to add a couple of, now I'm going to add a couple of dark lines of green at the bottom. All right. Next, part of my waterfall, I'm going to take the, a regular blue crayon and I'm just going to outline this part in lightly, very lightly color. Okay? Because the background part of this, I need to add some gray over here. Sorry. Bring it down. Bring it down. The inside part of my waterfall is really white. That's the water cascading. So this part I'm going to leave, but now it's very important to come in with my blue and I'm going to color it very dark because this is the sky, okay, but we kind of want it to melt into what we've already done. We kind of make it a little bit darker than our waterfall. We don't want it to crash into that. Okay. So take your blue, you work it down, work it over. Now, come back in with your green, and we can add some green to the mountain part. This is that space. Just add some green. There's stuff growing. If you need to add more gray, add some more gray. Like I said, you can always add more. It's more difficult to take it away. If you want to make your green darker, certain spots, go for it. You know, this adds dimension to your picture. Then, Come back in and we can add some dark blue lines wherever you can. You want to add a little bit of blue just to kind of bring out your mountaintop. 
Then you take your brown and you color in this down here at the bottom. And again, like I said, it's nature, so you can pretty much put it wherever and it works. Put a little bit down here. Okay. Now I'm going to darken up my waterfall line with blue. Okay. And I'm going to loop de loop my water down here at the base. Now, if you have white, you can add white to your waterfall. I don't have white, so I'm just going to leave it alone. If you have different color blues, you might want to add some more blues down here on your water. Add some blues on your Maybe make your sky a, a different blue than your waterfall. But again, I don't have that, so I'm using what I have. That's how you know it's art. You use what you have, make do with what you've got. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my waterfall all colored in Yosemite Falls in California. I like these because they're very interpretive. Everybody has a different way of approaching the project and everybody will have a different look. Okay, bye bye.